how to use color lookup or Photoshop color preset and where we can find it. If we go to adjustment layer and click on color lookup, we have kind of load 3D lot or 3D lot file. If you're familiar with Premiere or After Effects, the color preset over there they call lot and we save them as a lot so we can use different preset different color tone to our image let's add color preset to this image and make it more beautiful i go here and click on the bleach bypass put my mouse over there and just roll with my mouse and i'm coming down and looking for something very interesting maybe this crisp winter is cool for now now one more time, go to adjustment layer and click on another color lookup. Again, I'm just gonna go here and start going over it until I am happy with what I'm looking for. I'm looking for with something more inspiring. Something like this. And let's add another one. Another color lookup. Again, I'm just gonna go over here and I even like this one, the candlelight. Let's add another one can look up and I'm just this is cool but I think it's too much you can come over here and play with opacity until you're happy maybe 44 this one the opacity should be less maybe 74 so I'm playing around with the opacity until I get what I want and the cool thing about color lookup is I can use my custom color lookup what I mean is after I done with my image and color grading and I'm really happy with these color lookups I can put all of them in one folder hold down shift and click on the top command and control G to group it I'm just gonna call this color lookup and let me explain something I'm going to press command and control J multiple times because this is how it's gonna be we do a lot of stuff we add a lot of for example curve maybe and we do a lot of other stuff like color balance and at the end or at the top let me fix this one and a color color lookup and at the end we add the color lookup at the top of the layers so to save this color lookup and add it to another images or save it as a lot file click on this top layer exactly below the color lookup and hold down shift and click on the bottom right click and make sure you click on merge layers but if I go to file and go to export and click our color lookup tables I get a message could not export color lookup tables because this document has no background what I mean is it doesn't recognize this as a background we have to go to layer go to new and click on background from layer so we created a background now now we can go to file export and click on color table description it doesn't matter you can put a copyright but most of the time put it on medium if you put it on high or maximum it's gonna be heavy and the next time you want to import this it's gonna take a lot of time and my system is going to be hanging so for format if you just want to use it for Photoshop just use cube and it's medium click OK here I'm just gonna call this color lookup 10 for example and dot lot is the format I'm going to save it now it takes time to save now to bring it let's go and add another I'm just gonna check this off this color lookup let's go to adjustment layer and click on color lookup at the top click on this at the top it says load 3d lot just click on it and I'm looking for color lookup 10 and double click and check this out the same color that we added in this on all of these folders the same color lookup is just in this 
can look up alone look this is the same as this one and this is how we can use the same effect over and over again and this is how people save their color lookup and sell it online so my point is after this lesson you have learned how to create your own color lookups and you can put it online for sale so make sure to do a lot of practice and create multiple color lookups and when you're really good at it go to the next lesson